It's Friday, August 23rd. I'm Sam Cedar. And I'm Lucy Steiner. Which one of these stories will you be talking about today? The DNC decides that the imminent collapse of planet Earth isn't worth talking about for two hours. Meanwhile, Bernie Sanders unleashes an ambitious $16 trillion plan to fight climate change as he calls for fossil fuel executives to be criminally prosecuted. Lastly, Bill Barr's Justice Department sent its immigration judges an email linked to a white nationalist blog. Are you even slightly surprised at this point, folks? You're listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. And these are the stories you need to know. At a Democratic Party meeting in San Francisco Thursday, DNC officials voted down the resolution that would have called for an official 2020 climate debate. Simone Sanders, a senior advisor for Joe Biden, was among those who called on the DNC to vote down a climate debate, saying it would be, quote, dangerous territory in the middle of a Democratic primary process. That statement contrasts completely with Biden telling climate activists earlier this summer that he's all in when it comes to fighting climate change. After the vote, dozens of members of the youth climate activist group Sunrise Movement disrupted the meeting with the classic Pete Seeger's protest song, Which Side Are You On? Despite the initial defeat, the amendment will not be finalized until Saturday when it will be up for a full vote by the DNC. From the AP, Bernie Sanders has released a $16 trillion climate plan that builds on the Green New Deal and calls for the United States to move to renewable energy across the economy by 2050 and declare climate change a national emergency. Sanders described his plan as a 10-year nationwide mobilization that would create 20 million new jobs. The plan calls for committing $2.18 trillion in grants for low- and middle-income families to weatherize and retrofit their homes and businesses with the goal of reducing residential energy consumption by 30%. Just in case you weren't sure if this means Bernie is the climate candidate of 2020, he tweeted this yesterday, fossil fuel executives should be criminally prosecuted for the destruction they have knowingly caused. Might give you a clue as to why Joe Biden is avoiding a climate debate. Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. And all shipping is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. BuzzFeed News reports that the U.S. Department of Justice sent its employees, including immigration judges, a daily news briefing that included a link to a blog featuring racial and anti-Semitic slurs. The department's Executive Office for Immigration Review sent an office-wide collection of news items on Monday that included the link from the white nationalist website VDARE. The National Association of Immigration Judges wrote in a letter that several member judges found the email offensive and equated it to working in a hostile work environment. An assistant press secretary told CNN that those morning news briefings the DOJ send to employees are actually compiled by a contractor, but added, quote, the blog post should not have been included. Well, that's a comfort. Now for some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie! The Intercept has an in-depth piece from the front lines of the Bolsonaro war on the Amazon rainforest as Brazil's forest communities fight against this climate catastrophe. Vanity Fair is reporting that Trump has been privately telling congressional Republicans that he thinks gutting Medicare would be a, quote, fun second term project. And the American Prospect reports that Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren have returned campaign contributions from individuals employed at hedge funds that have investments in the Puerto Rican debt after an open letter from a coalition of progressive activist groups sent last week demanded that presidential candidates reject donations tied to the misery on the island. Quicker! Quickie! That's it, folks. Thanks for listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. Lucy? Thank you, Sam. Don't forget to check out the Majority Report today at noon, wherever your podcasts are found.